Hi there, Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your March 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from in the stars like Chrissy.com. So, um, before we begin, let me just say that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to each and every Gemini people out there. So just keep that in mind as we go along. And please do know that you may have to use your own intuition to, you know, to actually fit the message for your own personal situation. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind all at the same time. So um how we are going to be doing this reading is to actually see uh, how the energies are going to manifest for you for the month of march 2021 what are the influences and how is this going to be affecting you in a very personal level and especially in terms of your love life and relationships so um yeah without any further ado let's just go into the reading by the way, I'm using a new deck right now, and it's called the Light Sears Tarot. It's actually one of my most favorite decks because of the artworks. So, um, I would say for a lot of Gemini people, or at the very least, the energy that we are seeing here is a lot, a lot of intensity, and you know, a lot of dramatic situation that might be um, happening for you, especially if you are. Um, at the situation right now wherein you feel that you are wanting some form of answers, you are wanting some form of movement in your life. We do have here the Magician crossed over by the Ten of Swords, and we also have the Wheel of Fortune over here. And then in the past, we do have here the Energy of the Full card along with the Tower on top. So I'm, I'm telling you guys all of the cards um, all in one go so that I will be able to explain it uh, 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 the energy this is actually giving off, you know, um, um, <laughs> all in one go. So we are seeing here that this could be a situation wherein you are finding answers on certain things, or maybe you have found out something that is not really a good news for you. This is a really more of a point wherein you are wanting to break free and, you know, do something. You are going to act on something and it can happen in a very passionate way, very impulsive way, especially when you have the tower card over here at the top. The tower card is always something sudden, you know, uh, when a lightning strikes, it's not as if you have planned it. It's not as if you can actually detect, detect where the lightning is going to strike. It, it will... I mean, um, sudden things are going to strike you when it it actually does, you know. And sometimes it has a lot to do with your own fate as well, you know. So there could be something that was not planned, something that you were not expecting um, happening for the month of March. And if this is something that you don't want to have, you don't like a situation that you do not like, that you, you're not favorable on, this could be a point wherein you are uh, going to be taking action and doing something to actually change the situation. Um, and it can happen in a way wherein, you know, no matter what happens, you know, you're not going to be thinking of the consequences of your own actions. Uh, so you, maybe you, in your mind and in your head, you have waited enough, you have planned enough, and I'll just I just want to take action here and now. So there could be a situation of that nature happening for you, um, for the month of March, and we also have here the Three of Swords, um, and it it is also a card that re is representing your own feelings right now. So. Like I said earlier, there is something that is not satisfying to you. Maybe there is some form of disappointment or some form of disagreement is happening in the air. It could also be that your own impulsive energy um, could be creating the upsets of a relationship, of a situation. You know, maybe you have unintentionally hurt someone or someone has unintentionally offended you or hurt you. And you're not going to um, take a back seat on this. You're going to fight your way out. You're going to be saying something, <laughs> you know, anything. You know, if you want to hurt them, you might just hurt them as well. But with your own words, I would say, because you're a Gemini. This can also be a time wherein, you know, 
you're not going to be wasting time. This is a period of time where in if you feel that there is an opportunity to pursue something especially entrepreneurship business you know you are going to be grabbing hold of it and you're just gonna be going you know go ahead and grab it go ahead and do it go ahead and steal it you know there is really this is really more of a situation wherein i don't see you thinking your way into things you're just going to go ahead and do it and this can happen in a very positive way of course and this can happen also in a negative way especially if you don't uh, practice any form of um self-discipline within yourself um there's a huge possibilities of um, creating misunderstandings and creating disagreements with people, with your relationship, or um, investing on something which will not actually bring you uh, results. So honestly, I'm not going to be suggesting you to create a lot of investments right now. This is a time of planning. This is a time wherein you can you know, do a lot of studies, a lot of research into things. Uh, you might find out certain things that can surprise you, but because of the you know the, the the too passionate energy that we are picking up over here, it makes me feel that you know um, the energy is quite unstable at the same time. So, if you wanted to start a new relationship, um, yeah, you can do that, but I'm not entirely sure if it's it's gonna last. Or, or anything of the sort this can also be a situation wherein you know you might find out something and you don't really listen to the other person until the end and then you suddenly make your own conclusion and then create one problem to another and create one drama to another so you know i would say that you need to you need to pace yourself and you need to learn how to pause you need to learn how to listen and really gather the information and really um, let the information sink into your mind and not um, suddenly jumping into one conclusion over the other i kind of feel that you know you're either feeling a lot of things it's easy for you to to be restless it's easy for you to be so unsettled right now I do also feel that there's this is going to be a month where in there's going to be a lot of changes in your life, a lot of probably endings, a lot of transformation energy. We do have the Ten of Swords over here, the Three of Swords and the Death card all at the same time, making me feel that some form of situation in your life needs to be um, under some form of transformation, uh, under some form of reformation. Something needs to change, you know? Um... So I would say that maybe a certain situation needed to be closed down so that a new opportunity or a new pathway opens up again for you. I would say that since we do have here the sun card as an overall energy into the reading, it makes me feel that it's not really a point of pure ending. So there, there this could be a situation wherein you might need to change something you might need to end something close a door on something or cancel someone out in your life so that uh, you reach some form of happiness this can also be a form wherein you know you need to change some form of um, behavior uh, patterns in your life that you keep on doing if, um, even though that it's not really good for you this could be a situation in your life or in um, previously you have accepted to actually do them and then now you have come to a realization that okay this is not exactly going to be beneficial for me this is um, this is actually a very risky venture and i don't think i can risk risk um this much for this person or for that situation i need to change things up and you know there's some form of change and sudden form of um decisions that you need to cancel that you need to change things up and to start a brand new venture that is going to be very beneficial for you i feel that that's really going to be um the overall energy and situation that you are going to be going for right now 
I do know for a fact that you know there is really something abrupt that is going to be happening for you and in your life you know whether it is happening for you in a very personal level whether it's happening in a very relationship level I feel that you will have to use your own intuition as you go along with that there is definitely something that needs to change and you know there's going to be something that's really opening up for you and uh, some form of um, situation in the past is going to be cleared up something gets cleared up i would say and this is going to prepare you to actually move forward with your life um, in a way that is really more efficient in a way that is really more um, insightful and productive all at the same time so we are also going to experience a lot of lessons for the month of march especially for gemini people um when it comes to you know your own thoughts and your own actions and with how you deal with certain things so um yeah and knowing that we do have mars in the sign of gemini so uh, the astrological element could be playing a big role into things here so i would say that be careful of being too impulsive in certain things at one point that you are feeling um you're feeling um, super happy and giddy and then at the next point you're you're being more argumentative and fighting your way with different people and and um, maybe assuming certain things easily getting mad with people so I would say that you need to hold off your horses and try not to assume certain things because maybe you don't know the entire facts yet so it's not yet the time to actually confront someone when you really don't know what what it is really that's going on in your life during this time so i would say that the biggest element that we are seeing for a lot of gemini people here is that you need to actually learn how to pause you need to learn how to listen and to really pace yourself overall i do know that there is going to be something that gets renewed for you for the month of march something is going to change maybe a bad situation or a situation uh, or maybe you have been seeking or wanting to get answers on certain things and maybe you have not received anything and this is going to be the month we're in some form of answers or some form of situation really comes into your life right now this can also be a situation wherein if you have been taking advantage of about a certain relationship a certain person you know karma might strike back to you during this time and you know you might experience some form of situation wherein you know you are just suddenly stunned with how things are actually manifesting you might find out about the truth about a certain person in your life i mean it's going to be very tricky because yes we do are we we are we are actually seeing that some form of truth can come to light but at the same time how you handle it is going to be of another story because a part of you is not exactly um very clear in hearing the truth for an actual truth you know because there's a very impulsive energy here so i would say that um the key here is to to have some form of understanding you know and have some form of conversation with people to really get the bottom of things and not just you doing all the talk it's not just about you um nitpicking other people and telling them this or that all those kinds of energies and this is about you actually telling people what you feel what you think about a certain situation and learning to listen to them what they are thinking about this what they are uh, feeling about the situation i feel that you know for a lot of relationships set up for a lot of gemini people that is going to be very crucial you know this is not the time for you to be selfish um and i'm not saying that a lot of gemini are selfish i'm not saying that at all and of course a lot of gemini people are actually very giving and i just kind of feel that if you are if you have a tendency to be self-centered this could be a very tricky time in, ter in terms of your relationships because the other person i feel is going to be fed up 
with that kind of habit of yours. So it's either you change that situation, it's either you changed something in some form of habit of in your personal life that is damaging the relationship, or you might be shocked about how things actually manifest for you in terms of your relationship. Either way, these are going to be all lessons for you that you will need to have to cope on and integrity issues and trust issues are going to be coming at the forefront of things all at the same time something that was not clear to you in the past gets revealed right now and you know you are going to get answers that um that were not presented to you um and it will come right into your face and how you deal with that is going to be another story however um i i do know for a fact that communication is going to be very tricky during this time for, especially for you guys um there is some form of heavy weight into things when it comes to messages and conversations and communications that um that you you engage with during this time so i would say that you know have a little bit of TLC and tender loving care when it comes to communications, when it comes to talking to your loved one, the people that you care about, if you actually want to keep them into your life, Gemini. So, um, yeah, so that is really more of a message warning. You can take that or leave that. Um, it's really more up to you. But any answers that you're seeking right now, Gemini, there's going to be some form of results on that, some form of answers on that. But all at the same time, this is not just all about you. So don't don't mis misunderstand that that it's all about me, myself, and I. This is about a relationship. This and whether you are in a relationship and in love situation or career business partnership, you need to take into consideration of the other person all at the same time. This is not just about you seeing things the way that you want things to be seen, but what is really happening. You know overall in general with the other person in mind you know you have to know how to see things you know with other people's pers perspective and that is really going to be the key in surviving and overcoming this month of march for you so um this is my reading for you guys gemini i hope this gives you insight and clarity to your own situation and um, if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for you in your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. And I shall see you guys again next month. Goodbye.